guys, Lego Brick Fan 615 here, and as you can see today here, we have set number 76011, the Batman Man Bat Attack set, and as you can see, it is meant for ages 6 through 12, and includes 184 pieces, and now, this normally retails at $19.99, however, I paid an extra $5 at Toys R Us, because none of the other stores that I went to had it, um, but yeah, guys, um, Here's a look at the front, um, the top, it shows Man Bat, who I'm excited about, and I'm glad I don't have to buy the Vampire Castle to make a custom Man Bat. And here is the back of your box, and as you can see, there's little features here. So yeah, guys, let's get on to our time-lapse build. Alright guys, so as you can see, here is the set in its entirety, and I just want to briefly show the extra pieces, which, um, um, they're pretty much just, um, you know, the, the Technic pins, and, um, you know, the Technic pins with the studs, and the actual studs, and, um, you get a hook here and a batarang. Um, so yeah guys, now that you've seen the extra pieces, um, let's go look at the instruction manual and comic. As you can see here guys, the set includes one instruction manual which consists of about 60 pages in the back there are of course some advertisements for the other sets and um, I did see this in my Toys R Us but I didn't really want to spend $40 on it. Um, some Lego movie sets and then that's just the back of it. Um, this set includes one sticker sheet, uh, it had two stickers on it, one was for the Batcopter, the other was for Nightwing's little thing. And then we get this comic which I can't really, I don't really know if it's in the other sets. Um, but I might be the same, I'm not quite sure. So yeah, it's a little story, I mean you can read it if you want to. It's basically the penguin man bat and they're fighting and then it includes the next set and then it goes on with the Joker steamroller. And then in the back here, this is a really cool average. I really love what they did this time. Instead of like splitting it up like in 2013, they just put all of them together and it looks really cool. Uh, so yeah guys, let's get on to the minifigures. Alright, so our first out of the three minifigures in the set is this Batman. Now this is really nothing special, nothing new. It's the exact same variant we got in 2012. Some argue that, well yes, he does have the newer helmet, but even that version came in the Batsky polybag, for me at least. Um, so yeah, this set includes two batterings, one of them's extra, so I only gave him, you know, one of the two because, I mean, they always give an extra battering. Um, and then really like I said nothing new there's his uh, front torso printing and front head printing and then if we spin him around you'll see his second face and his back printing so yeah that's it for this Batman 
Next up, we have our Nightwing figure, which is based off of the new 52 variant of Nightwing, as she is sporting um, red and black as opposed to blue and black, um, which was what the 2006 Nightwing was sporting. Um, so yeah, he's got the uh, black sleepyhead hair, which also came on Feyora, like I said, in black, um, which I think looks better than the Exo Force hair we got in 2006. And as you can see, he has the uh, you know mask with the red eyes, and on this face, he has a more serious look. Um, You'll see on the second face, it's kind of like laughing and chuckling, and I don't really like it that much. Um, but yeah, here's his back printing for his torso. And right here, you'll see, like I said, he's kind of like chuckling, which, you know, I don't really like the look of that. So if you'd ask me, I prefer the um, first face with the serious look, because he's just generally a more serious character. But I'm a little upset that LEGO didn't include his Eskrima sticks, because it wouldn't have been that hard. Um, but they're not that hard to add in, you know, just red lightsaber blade pieces. Um, but yeah, that's it for Nightwing. And finally, we have our Man Bat minifigure. Now, this is the third and final minifigure of the set, and he is the only one that we've never gotten a variant of before. So, as you can see, he includes two bundles of dynamite, and also he has plain navy blue legs, which is kind of disappointing because Lego really could have put in rips and tears. It would not have been that hard. Um, but yeah, we get the same Man Bat arms, you know, with the wings, which are really cool. And, um, so yeah, there's his front printing, um, and then there's his first face, which actually, you know, looks good, looks like him, as you can see, he's got, like, kind of the fur in his ears or whatever. Um, and if we turn around, you'll see his back printing, which is just a continuation of the front, really, you got the normal shoulder blades that they give pretty much everyone now. Um, but, I don't know what's up with this second, um, face, it's just really stupid looking, but yeah, that's pretty much it for a Man Bat minifigure. But yeah, guys, let's get on to the actual set now. And here's our little Nightwing glider thing. Um, now, as you can see, it doesn't look too great from the front, which is one of my flaws with it. Um, the back, however, does look great, and as you can see, this is where one of our stickers went. Um, but yeah, so like I said, this part looks great. Um, where you'll be, like, you know, kind of playing around with it, I guess, if you were going to. It doesn't look too great, um, which is a flaw in my opinion. And the major flaw is that this thing does not stand up because of these two little cones here. It's all, you know, not balanced correctly. And so it does not stand up, which is why I had to place it on this minifigure stand. Um, so, like I said, not that hard to fix. Um, if you're putting on the sleigh, just, you know, stick it on this. Um, but, yeah, it's really not hard to... Um, attach Nightwing either it's just this thing the Nightwing can just stand here um so yeah this was a cool little thing you know some flaws though um but yeah let's get on to our bat copter and now let's get on to the bat copter which is the main part of our set um so yeah let's start from the front as you can see there's where our Batman sticker went and um right here we have a little light so you know you can shine it where he's flying or down um at you know a person if they need like help or light or something like that um and you will see how it's clipped on right there. And as we're on the bottom, you'll see these three wheels here. Um, I'm actually surprised that they're in dark gray. I haven't seen them in that color before. I usually get them in light gray, although I don't have too many. Um, but yeah, so that just kind of wheels along like that. And um, then we get this nice piece. We get it on a lot of the other newer Batman sets. Newer meaning from 2012 up through these 2014 sets. And inside here, we pretty much have a 4x4 cockpit area, except the 1x2 cheese slope that goes right there. Um, so, I mean, I guess it kind of helps with the look, but, you know, it doesn't really help with him, like, sitting back or anything. And right here, we have the 1x2 tile, which is printed with um, these details that you typically get in helicopter. There are some other ones, too, but this is one of the big ones. Um, so, yeah, you basically just close this up like that. And this is the tinted one. This isn't just the clear one. Um... But yeah, we have the um, the 1x4 slopes, which they're becoming more popular, because I was used to the ones that go out um, that are 1x2s and 1x3s, but now they're making these 1x4s um, more popular. Um, so yeah, right here we have our flick fire missile, and that's on both sides. Then we have this nice yellow piece, um, and you'll just see how it kind of goes out. Um, right here, I really don't know what these are for, uh, maybe like extra boosters or something like that, but they do look cool. They don't have anything coming out the back of them, but like I said, they, they look cool, they're a nice addition. Um, so yeah, there is, it's more of a, a black and light gray scheme, um, as opposed to like a, a black and dark gray scheme, which there is some dark gray, but not too much. Um, right here we have a little hook which you can drop down by twisting this gear, nothing new, we've seen this multiple times before. It does go out pretty far, I'm not going to 
unravel it the whole way. Um, but yeah, I like how they included a big gear for this because sometimes those little ones are a little, um, little hard to, um, you know, turn. Then we get this nice piece, which I, uh, they always look cool in black. And we get, um, another nice, um, propeller here, um, with that new, um, piece, which is the 2x2. Two two, and it's got the hole in the middle, which I don't have any of yet. Um, so this is nice to get that. And then we have the the little bat fin thing. I honestly don't know what it's called. Um, <laughs> the bat wing, I guess, but that's not what this vehicle is called either. Um, but yeah, um, then we get a little like light here. That's what it appears to be. And here we have the uh, rotors at the top. Now we have the two main rotors, which look which look great. Then we have these two um, smaller rotors, which as you can see, you know, the flick fire pieces. Um, I don't know. I don't really like how they're. They have a higher elevation than the regular rotors. It makes it look a little weird. But there's really nothing Lego could have done about that except maybe raise these up a little. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much an overview of it. Um, now I want to get on to what I think. Um, I think this is a good helicopter. I'll I'll go that far. It's it's not great. I mean, like there are some spots where they really could have added in the like the one by two cheese slopes, like right here, or just regular ones, like right here and you know right here. I don't like how they left so many studs showing. I also don't exactly like the uh, light gray theme. Um, it just kind of looks weird. You'll see it mostly here, but they really could have made all these pieces in dark gray. And I know technically this piece you can't make in dark gray, but this is one of the pieces where Lego's being lazy and just like kind of molds a bunch of pieces together. So really could have made this out of like dark gray pieces and um, it wouldn't be that hard They're, they wouldn't have to make any new pieces um, they've all been made in dark gray before um, so yeah those are my main problems um, another one like I said is how these little things here have a higher elevation than the actual two rotors um, so yeah I do actually like the two rotors that's pretty much how the bat um, copter is so I wasn't like suggesting they should add in two more or something like that I will be making a modification video of all the modifications I do to this it's pretty self explanatory um, but yeah guys besides that there's nothing much more I would do I might um, put some pieces in here right in this area um, but yeah um, so that is the bat copter for you and now let's get on to the overall review. Alright, so overall guys, this is a great set. I think it's definitely worth your $20. 25 is pushing it a little, but I, I just paid that. I, I really did want to get the set now. Um, so yeah guys, all three figures are great. Batman's just a nice regular Batman to have, but nothing new. Nightwing and Man Bat, both great figures, and they are both exclusive to this set, uh, both of these versions at least. And the 2006 Nightwing, it costs like nearly a hundred dollars on eBay anyway so if you're looking for a Nightwing this would be a good way to get him and um my problems are really with the you know they're just showing a bunch of studs on the Batcopter it's really kind of annoying and you know they really could have fixed that there's not a problem but it will not be that hard to modify also Nightwing Sing does not stand up um but you can fix that by if you're putting on display you can just put it on one of these minifigure stands which I have so many of and um, I'm sure you guys will have a lot of them too also, another thing is that they were kind of, you know, another lazy thing um, is that they didn't give him his, like, you know, escrima sticks, which, like like I said, with the, uh, you know, putting more parts on the um, the back cop to cover up some of the studs, um, you can just really, you know, take the from your own collection and it won't put too much of a dent in it, or shouldn't at least. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it for this review, and this is Lego Brick Fan 615 signing out.